Sharks are known for being the most terrifying species to roam the oceans, but megalodons are the scariest of them, with a jaw full of teeth as large as an adult human's hand. Megalodons are said to have lived in warm seas millions of years ago, but some recent sightings state otherwise. Here, Gary shark sightings that might just be megalodon. Number 15. David G. Stead Retelling One of the widely known sightings of the megalodon was told by David G. Stead in his posthumous 1963 book, Sharks and Rays of Australian Seas. According to him, in the year 1918, he recorded the sensation that had been caused among the crayfish men at Port Stephens when, for several days, they refused to go to sea to their regular fishing grounds in the vicinity of Broughton Island. The men had been at work on the fishing grounds, which lie in deep water, when an immense shark of almost unbelievable proportions put in an appearance, lifting pot after pot containing many crayfishes. The crayfish pots were about 3 feet 6 inches in diameter and frequently contained from two to three dozen good-sized crayfish, each weighing several pounds. The men were all unanimous that this shark was something the like of which they had never dreamed of. After closely questioning the men, they all agreed on the beast's gigantic stature, but the lengths they gave were an indication that what they had seen was much bigger and scarier than any usual shark. Because the livelihood of those men depended on going to the sea and working there, they were used to the sea, all sorts of weather, and all sorts of sharks and whales and other marine creatures. According to the fishermen, the shark they saw was about 115 meters in length and had a ghostly whitish color. While the crayfish men were terrified of seeing a giant creature they had never seen before, the local fisheries refused to believe what the fishermen were saying. The gigantic shark was spotted several more times by the locals, and they all said it had the ghostly white color as the crayfish men told. It was never confirmed whether the crayfish men at Port Stevens encountered a megalodon, but the size of the creature they described points towards the possibility that it probably was one. Number 14. The Mariana Trench Giant The megalodon was one of the most powerful predators to have ever lived. It is said to have been 40 times heavier and three times longer than the largest ever great white shark. The Japanese researchers decided to conduct an experiment in the deepest part of the world's ocean, a bay near the Mariana Trench, but they never thought about what they were about to witness. The scientists wanted to see which sea creatures were attracted to the smell of food first, so they lowered a bait in the ocean. The first creature to be attracted to the food was a group of normal sharks, but then the sharks scattered and made way for the enormous and scary shark the size of which shocked the scientists. The huge predator can be seen swimming over what seems to be an abandoned shark cage. Some believe this footage, which re-emerged after being filmed in 2018, is proof the megalodons are not extinct. The behemoth that was captured on camera was about 60 feet long, but scientists are not sure what they saw, which leaves us with speculations and guesses. But considering the fact that our oceans are huge and vast areas are still unexplored, it wouldn't be surprising if there are megs out there. Number 13. The Giant Red Blob Imagine the horror of shark researchers when they saw a 15-meter shark-shaped blob on their underwater movement detector. Researchers from the Atlantic Shark Institute, a Rhode Island-based nonprofit that works in shark research and conservation, picked up a shape on its sonar fish finder that looked like the megalodon, also known as the meg. The giant red blob looked and moved like a shark and would have weighed an estimated 40 tons. The appearance of the enormous shark-shaped blob on the research vessel's sonar display got scientists pondering about the existence of the long-extinct megalodon. Based on the size of the blob, the creature would have measured 50 feet and weighed 40 tons, putting it within the known size range for a megalodon. Megalodon was a famous apex predator, the biggest shark that ever lived, and had large teeth that helped it feast on whales and large fish, and probably other sharks, but it went extinct millions of years ago. For a moment, the researchers thought it was a megalodon, but they were disappointed to find out it wasn't, but it was a close call. Number 12. Massive Shark Caught on Camera Off New England Coast 
a massive shark seen on video lurking around a tall ship off the coast of Massachusetts got social media in an uproar. The prehistoric-sized shark was filmed swimming slowly alongside a ship full of research students as they all screamed and gawked in awe. Alex Albrecht, a marine biodiversity student and musician, captured the sighting from the mast of the SSV Corwith Kramer just over 100 miles off the coast of the Woods Hole section of Falmouth. The now viral video has been viewed more than 37 million times and has raised the question of it being a megalodon. Interestingly, this is not the first time a meg is supposedly seen in England. Remember the shark-shaped blob that made the researchers wonder about the megalodon it was detected in the same region as the sighting of this huge shark? A megalodon is an extinct species believed to be the largest shark and fish that ever lived. Some scientists estimate that an adult megalodon could have been more than 30 feet in length. Others contest that the species could have been more than 80 feet long. But the question here is, was an actual megalodon spotted off New England's coast in 2021, or was it some other shark confused with the meg? Number 11. The Black Demon of Cortez The Black Demon of Cortez is believed to be a massive black shark seen off Mexico's Baja coast. Some reports allege that the big boy may even be comparable in size to the ancient megalodon. In one alleged encounter, fisherman Eric Mack reported that the black demon rocked his boat while its towering tail stuck five feet out of the water. In recent years, numerous sightings have been reported, primarily from local fishermen. The black demon is between 20 to 60 feet long and weighs between 50 to 100,000 pounds. It is said to resemble a great white shark but with a very dark coloration and a large tail. Some say it could be the megalodon or a new species of shark, or perhaps an unusually large great white. Many expeditions were launched to locate the creature, but nothing became of the investigation. Sadly, sightings are rare, and there is no certain way to determine what the creature is actually. If the black demon is real, as stated by locals, there are chances it could be a megalodon, but there are also chances it could easily be a plankton-eating whale shark or even a large great white with melanism. Number 10. Coast Guard Footage For many years, the famous megalodon theory is still going strong. People around the world believe that this massive sea creature could still be alive. If the megalodon exists somewhere, then the Coast Guard will likely be the first ones to know about their existence. Of course, after the sailors as they get a complete view of the ocean and the creatures lurking below the waves during their helicopter rescue missions. The video, as you can see on your screens, claims to show the Brazilian Coast Guard helping someone and accidentally spotting a megalodon during the rescue operation. The Coast Guard was going about their regular business, but when they reviewed the footage afterward, they were astonished to see the shadowy figure lurking below the waves. A Coast Guard is in the middle of the ocean helping someone out, but there is a massive-looking shark that goes past at the top right of the screen. It appears for a very brief period but if you look closely, you can spot it. The shark looks to be over 60 feet long and can be a whale shark, but the whale sharks don't swim near Brazil, which rules out the possibility of the creature being a whale shark. Experts also analyze the video footage, and according to them, it is a very real video and has not been doctored. The video is the best proof we have that continues to hint towards the existence of the large beasts lurking in the oceans. Number 9 the tooth of the giant creature. What makes the megalodon different from all other sharks is its sharp teeth. Even the name megalodon means large tooth. Megalodon teeth are similar in shape, but larger and broader than the teeth of the modern great white shark. Teeth are triangular, broad at the base, and thin toward the peak, like a chisel or wedge, although sometimes they curve toward the cusp. Megalodon teeth are generally three to five inches in height, with the largest teeth exceeding 7 inches. Like modern sharks, Megalodon had a skeleton composed of cartilage, which doesn't fossilize well, so only the teeth remain clues to this ancient predator's existence. Because the teeth are large and similar in shape to the modern great white shark, scientists hypothesize what Megalodons look like and how they lived based on studies of modern great white sharks. While dredging a seabed near Tahiti in 1875, the British survey ship HMS Challenger pulled up a pair of megalodon teeth. 
they attempted to date these teeth by measuring the layer of manganese dioxide that had accumulated on them. After analyzing the two teeth, they calculated that the first was only 11,333 years old and the second was 24,206. They concluded that the megalodon teeth fell in the 10,000 to 15,000 year old range. That's a far cry from 1.5 million years ago when megalodon supposedly went extinct. So it means that the predator that was thought to be extinct millions of years ago was there 10 to 15,000 years ago and who knows, it still exists today in some dark and unexplored part of the ocean. Number 8. Google Earth Sighting Google Earth is a cloud-based geospatial analysis platform that enables users to visualize and analyze satellite images of our planet. What was caught on the Google Earth image made many people question the return of the megalodon. If you zoom in, you'll see a figure that resembles what seems almost the length of 40 feet and is quite huge in size. Megalodons are known to grow to a staggering length of about 60 feet and can even grow larger in size. While many people speculated about the creature in the image to be a megalodon, there are chances it can be a whale shark that can be as large as 60 feet. It is also a sea giant but without the bloodthirst of a shark. It was never confirmed whether the gigantic creature in the photo was the deadliest fish or the silent giant sailor of the ocean. 7. The Bitten Whale With its large serrated teeth, Megalodon would have eaten meat, most likely whales, large fish, and probably other sharks. If you are that big, you need a lot of food, so large prey is required. This would have included animals as small as dolphins and as large as humpback whales. Evidence of Megalodon's feeding habits is found in the form of fossilized whale bones. Some of these have been found with the cut marks of Megalodon teeth etched on the surface. Others even include the tips of teeth broken off in the bone during a feeding frenzy that occurred millions of years ago. But in 2009, a father and son duo spotted a whale carcass beached on the shore of Hawaii, and it was something that had never been seen before. What made the whale carcass so different was that the whale was bitten in half and a huge chunk of its body was chopped off. It appears that the whale was bitten by a creature with such a powerful bite that it bit off its tail completely from the body. This was the first time something like this was discovered. There are chances that the whale came in contact with a megalodon, and Meg, being the apex predator, chewed through the flesh with its sharp teeth, but the whale was able to escape being swallowed up whole and ended up dead washed up on the shore. Number 6. Zane Grey's Sighting of the Monster Zane Grey was an American author and dentist. He is known for his popular adventure novels and stories associated with the Western genre in literature and the arts. He idealized the American frontier. Riders of the Purple Sage was his best-selling book. You would be wondering what an author had to do with the sightings of the beast, but it does. Zane Grey claimed to have had an experience with a massive shark that some believe could have been a megalodon. In the novel Megalodon Fact or Fiction, Rick Emmer writes that Grey claimed to have seen one of the man-eating monsters of the South Pacific, a shark much longer than his 30 to 40 foot boat. Apparently, the shark was yellow and green with a square head, immense pectoral fins, and a few white spots. In other words, not a mere harmless white shark. While Zane didn't mention that he saw a megalodon, what else could such a huge and scary looking shark be? 5. The Great Barrier Reef Sighting the Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef system composed of over 2,900 individual reefs and 900 islands stretching for over 2,300 kilometers over an area of approximately 344,400 square kilometers. In his 1978 book, Let's Go Fossil Shark Tooth Hunting, author B.C. Cartmel describes an alleged incident that took place off the edge of Australia's Great Barrier Reef in the 1960s. According to Cartmel, the sailors involved initially refused to speak of the incident because they feared teasing. But after time, they admitted that when their 85-foot ship was forced to weigh anchor for engine repairs, the captain and crew were shocked to see a gargantuan white shark swim slowly past their stuck ship. It rivaled the boat in size. All aboard agreed it was not a whale. Was it the Megster? Probably, but whatever the sailors saw that day, it's proof that the ocean is a fascinating place. Number 4. Fishing Boat Attack 
In South Africa, a fishing boat was attacked in the sea, and it was suspected that the attack on the ship was initiated by a megalodon. This incident happened in South Africa. In 2013, when a fishing boat was out fishing, it was suddenly attacked by unknown creatures. When the rescuers arrived, no one on the boat survived. Judging from the extent of the damage to the fishing boat and the traces left at the scene, the researchers believe that it should be some kind of unusually large marine creature that attacked the fishing boat. Experts believe that there is a high probability that it was done by sharks, which also makes many people wonder if the megalodon is still alive. A similar situation also includes that in May 2021, a cruise ship in the United States found the figure of a behemoth in the sea. According to witnesses, this was a huge shark, which he had never seen before. The shark, and judging from the video taken by witnesses, this behemoth also looks like a megalodon. Number 3. The Deadly Attack on Swimmers June 14, 1959. It was a normal day to go out for a swim, but the 33 years old engineer at Convair Astronautics Division didn't know this was the last swim of his life. Robert Pamperin and his companion Gerald Lehrer were free diving for Abalone in about 40 feet of water at Alligator Head off the west end of La Jolla Cove at around 5 p.m. The two began to slowly drift apart until separated by about 30 feet. Lehrer heard his companion cry out, Help me! Lehrer whipped around quickly to see his friend unnaturally high out of the water, missing his dive mask. He glanced under to see Pamperin thrashing with his lower half in the jaws of a 20-foot shark, dragged under the surface in an ominous cloud of crimson. Lehrer took a breath of air and dived. The shark, which he first mistook for an orca, was lying on the sandy bottom, jerking its head from side to side in what Lehrer later described as either an attempt to swallow or spit out Pamperin. He returned to the surface and dived down again, waving his arms frantically in attempts to scare the shark off. Realizing his actions were inconsequential, Lehrer swam towards the shore to alert lifeguards. Ten divers spent around two hours searching the attack site for Pamperin's body with no results. A helicopter observed Pamperin's blue swim fin floating on the surface, along with a dead pinniped, but not the shark itself. Several hours later, his burlap sack containing two abalone washed up at La Jolla Beach and Tennis Club. It all happened so quickly that Lehrer doesn't remember much detail about the shark, but he did said it was larger and scarier than the average shark he had seen before. Number 2. Megalodon Lurking Near a Boat Kai Crawford and his family were boating when they had a close encounter with a shark in the Bay of Fundy. When boater Kai Crawford saw the dorsal fin moving through the calm waters off Dipper Harbor, he had to get up close. That thing's huge! Look at the size of it! Crawford can be heard saying on a video taken as he approached what turned out to be a shark at least five meters long. At first, he thought it was just a regular shark, but after looking at the distance between the shark's fin and shark's slope, he doubted it was something bigger under the water. While Crawford said he spotted two fins sticking out of the water, a telltale sign of a shark, one of the Crawford kids thought this meant there were two sharks, an adult and a baby. Researchers were able to confirm that it would have been a shark like the Great White or a basking shark, but no one knows for sure what creature was hiding beneath the surface of water. It was huge, so there is a big possibility it was a megalodon roaming around in the water, hiding in plain sight. Number 1. Baby Meg on the Coast of Australia While there have been a lot of sightings of adult megalodon, what was caught on camera is said to be a smaller version of the ferocious creature, a baby megalodon. Marine biologists were underwater looking at the spectacular sight of the great white sharks when they encountered a big shark that started eating the fish as it moved around the water and the creature was said to be a baby megalodon. There were two things that made the researchers believe that it was a megalodon. Firstly, the size of the shark was huge, which may not be a definitive proof of the shark being a meg, but the second thing the researchers spotted was a jut on its flap, which is something only a megalodon has. This is a solid proof for the people who question that if the megalodon exists, where are their offsprings? Well, here is one of them.